by the way, we now have Tropical Storm Earl uh, join Hurricane Danielle over in the Atlantic. So all of a sudden we've got two systems to talk about. Earl, as you can see here, has uh, 40 mile per hour winds moving west northwest at 13 miles per hour. Uh, by the way, Earl formed uh, Friday evening last night east of the Caribbean here. Uh, it's expected to produce some pretty heavy rain right over the Leeward Islands. You can see San Juan Island right there. Uh, so this is going to extend over the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico right through the weekend. Not expected to become a threat to the east coast, of course. So that's some good news and I'll explain why. So here's what we have with Earl at this time. Earl, as we look at the projected path, expected to remain uh, tropical storm gets up to maybe 65 miles per hour uh, by the time we get into Thursday. But look at the trajectory wants to take almost the same path that his big sister Danielle has been taking. So that's good news. Here is Florida, by the way, just to give you an idea of where it is. And so this would kind of miss our coast here on the U.S. mainland, which would be nice. We need that, right? Uh, then we've got the consensus models. We're looking at the spaghetti forecast. All the different models is what we're looking at. The good news is, is if you look at this, a lot of them are basically in agreement. What we really want to focus in is on that consensus one right smack in the middle. But if you look at all the other ones, they're all pretty much in agreement, at least with the general direction of where this will go in the coming days. Now, as we continue to watch Danielle, there's Danielle up to the north and you've got Earl down here. We talked about these two storms taking the same general path. As we look at Danielle, still has winds at 70 miles per hour. So now a tropical storm was at one point a hurricane, but with 70 mile per hour winds uh, doesn't make that criteria. It needs at least another four more miles per hour or so expected to intensify a little bit later today, become a hurricane possibly. And then again, and then go up to the north. So still holding steady, but nonetheless moving away from the US mainland. So that would be kind of nice as well. Long range uh, forecast as we look at Earl and Danielle taking the same path away from the US. Notice what happens behind it. You've got a whole lot of dust coming off of the African coast and that tends to inhibit some of these storms from producing. So that could thing mean that things will quiet down. The dust increases and that's going to really inhibit some of those storms from forming as Earl and Danielle continue to track off. That'll be some good news for us. That looks like that will be at least through September 11th. Of course, any updates we have, we'll bring them to you. We've got more, including what's going on over in the Pacific coming up in about 30 minutes, Amy. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.